I'm uh, going to show you this little clip of a new approach I have to brushing my duck blind. I've made this gadget and I'm going to uh, weave some corn stalks together in four foot sections, mats, and, uh, and attach them to the blind. In the past I've used a, a fence, a wire fence around the blind and attached brushing to that and that's just difficult after a year or two of doing that to remove the old brushing. So this, this will just screw on to the corners of the blind and uh, hopefully it'll work. Here's a close-up. I've got a, a two by four across my pallet forks and then I've attached four uh, s swivels here and they are attached to uh, some baling twine and then it just loops down and on the bottom I've got a four foot piece of wood. I'll put one on each end and uh, I'm going to lay uh, corn stalks in here and then turn these and keep them tight going the length of the mat and uh, I'll, I'll do it here now and we'll, we'll see how it turns out. So I've cut some corn stalks. I'm ready to start. I uh, want to make sure they don't have any ears on them or you'll get in trouble with the game warden. We had a lot of flooding this year so we got corn without any ears on it to begin with. So I'll uh, take a couple stalks. I kind of want them all going the right, the same direction. So when I start, I'll, uh, I'll just put them in this way. Lay them down on the, on the bottom. Turn each one of these. Good idea to keep the leaves out, then it'll just be tighter. If it's just going around the stalks. And repeat. Push it down a little bit, snug them up. Rotate. Doesn't matter which way you spin these. You can use grass or willow stalks or anything, I suppose. I'm just using this because I've got an abundance of it. If you do this after they pick your corn, or you'll have to substitute another material. So after this one. We'll fast forward to the to the top. And eventually we'll take a look at it when it's on the blind. See how it looks. Okay, we're pretty much done. I gotta put a few more handfuls in. I, uh, I want my my mat to be 48 inches on this dimension. I don't think it would be helpful to do a longer mat than four feet just because the, the bailing twine is you know, going to reach the tensile limit there, its strength. So now all I have to do is attach my my board to this end. Let me measure. Yep, we're good. Okay, I'm done with this one. I've attached my my little one by two to this end. And so now I've got my my mat ready to attach to the duck blind. 
next step is to run out there and screw each end of the mat onto the front of the blind. Okay, here's the finished product. There's my two completed mats attached to the front of the blind. The dog ramp is out of the water right now, but I've got to put two on the back and one on each side and uh, get the get the roof on and we'll be ready, ready to kill some ducks. We'll see how it lasts.